and was passed into law. The truth of the matter is Obamacare was actually two parts. The second part was the health care bill passed into law in March of 2010. But the first part was hidden in the stimulus bill. That's right. In the stimulus bill was hidden a section about 600 pages deep, creating the Federal Coordinating Council for Comparative Effectiveness Research. It was funded for $1.1 billion, and the 15 members of the rationing board were to be appointed by the president. Within three days of the stimulus bill passing, Barack Hussein Obama appointed all 15 members. How do you know this is a rationing board? The title, Federal Coordinating Council for Comparative Effectiveness Research, comparative effectiveness definition of is the cost of the treatment divided by the number of years the patient will benefit from the treatment will determine a ratio, and that ratio will be determined if you can or will be treated. So the very existence of this board that was hidden in the stimulus bill is evidence that rationing of care will occur with Obamacare. But it's interesting because in the health care bill, the second part of Obamacare, they upped the ante with this rationing board and they created a multi-billion dollar center to institute the decisions out of this coordinating council. There was a second board created in the stimulus bill called the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology. And in the stimulus bill, it says that this national coordinator will, quote, determine treatment at the time and place of care, end quote. Now let me tell you what that means. On January 1st, 2013, when Rob and I, well, Rob won't, because he'll be in Congress by then, but when I walk into a room, my nurse and my assistant will have a little handheld computer. And when I make the diagnosis on that patient, she will type it into that little handheld computer and it'll go to the National Coordinator's Office. And while we, while we are still in that room, word will come back from Washington as far as the treatment protocol that is to be instituted on that patient. It goes on under the description of this coordinator that physicians and hospitals that are, quote, not meaningful users of the system over time will face penalties, end quote. So I was asked to speak in, to con members of Congress, and I put this to members, over 100 members of the House. What does this mean? What are the penalties? I go, are you trying to tell me that come January 1st, 2013, if a patient comes in and we send that diagnosis code and it comes back that I have to do A, B, and C, and I know A and B won't work because I've been doing this for 30 years and I'm going to go just, I'm going to do what's right for that patient and do C, that I'm going to be punished and penalized? I go, so what? And they said, yes. And I go, so are you telling me that I'll get paid 20 bucks to see that patient, you're going to find me 100 bucks? And they looked at me and they said, no, that's, that's not going to make you hurt enough. Try a hundred grand for your first offense. I'm not kidding you. And then I said, okay, well, you know me. I'm going to do what's right for the patient, so I'm going to take care of that patient the right way as opposed to the way federal bureaucrats want me to do it. What happens the second time I do it? Because that will probably be the next patient. And they, I said, are you telling me I'm going to get fined a hundred grand again? And they looked at me and they said, no, Dave, you're going to go to jail. I started laughing. They didn't. There was recently a survey through the uh, Journal of American Medical Association, another journal through the New England Journal, and through Investors Business Daily. And it showed that 46% of all physicians are going to leave the practice of medicine when Obamacare kicks in. So. We're going to have 32 million more people in our healthcare system, according to Obama. And just if we keep the same number of doctors, 32 more million people in the system, same number of physicians, how do you not ration care? Add to that, now we're going to lose 46% of physicians, including me. I cannot walk into a room January 1st, 2013, and lie to the very people I've been helping for the past 30 years I've heard. I won't do it. 
Obamacare is $1.5 trillion, and the way they pay for it is with cutting Medicare by $500 billion. The problem is, in, in 10 years, we're going to have 30% more people in Medicare because of the demographics of our country. So if we're going to have 30% more people and $500 billion less to take care of them, how do you not ration care? My final point. But we have to be resolved that we are going to elect people like Rob Steele to do the job, to defund it, to repeal it, and to put an end, starting with Dingle in 2010 and ending with the removal of Barack Hussein Obama in 2012. <laughs> Visit Pushback now for news that affects America.